you gorgeous people of the interwebs. I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day. You asked for it, I'm gonna give it ya. This is my daily skincare routine. You can see I'm on the floor again, and that's because I'm surrounded, surrounded by things to show and share with you. Now, I have said before, my daily skincare routine is simple and I stand by that. However, as I send you to the cutaway, you will see that there are quite a few products that I use on the daily. Now, some of these I use in the morning, some of these I use in the evening, but the routine itself remains simple. In addition to those daily things that I use, I'm going to share with you a couple of products that I use, you know, maybe once a week, twice a week. I'm going to start off with sharing with you what I think are my daily skincare routine essentials. And these aren't products, moisturisers, creams or anything like that. These are the things that I use every day to be able to do my skincare routine. And they include a silk scrunchie. This one is from Grey & Blush and I absolutely love it. I use it all the time. It's pretty much replaced my other hair bands. And the reason that I love using the silk scrunchie is because it keeps everything up and out of the way, but it doesn't actually pull on my um, already, let's face it, pretty bleached, damaged hair. So that is my first essential. My second essential is uh, some sort of hairband and you know I love my bunny ears to keep everything away from your face. I used to think that these were a bit extraneous, a little bit unnecessary but to be honest I found I, found I saw the light uh, at some point and I hadn't looked back. So keeping your hair out of your face, number one. I shower every morning and my favourite vehicle for my body wash is a shower puff. This one is looking a little bit ropey but to be honest I prefer them when they're a little bit loosened up like this than um, when they first come when they're all really tightly and it just feels like using a scourer on your skin. And my top tip for these is what I do is when they've gotten really quite ropey and you don't want to use them anymore um, I dry mine out, pop them in the airing cupboard and if I ever go on holiday somewhere for a week, maybe two weeks, something like that. I don't know when that's gonna happen again. But when I go on holiday, I take one of my old ones that I can use on holiday, and then I can just leave it behind, throw it away while I'm there. That way I get a little bit more use out of these, and I don't have to buy a new one every time I go away. So yeah, this little thing is an absolute essential. And of course it's pink. And the last essential is an epic towel. And I mean epic. I can't remember the size, the dimensions of this towel, but I will pop them up on the screen and I will link to something similar in the description below. Um, but this is a mega towel. This is a towel for two people. This is the extra large one that I could find in the UK. There may be other options available in other countries. Um, but I like a towel where if you're going to film the towel to share with your fan daddies, you need a wide angle lens. This thing is mahoosive and I love it. It makes me feel super luxurious actually every time I get out of the shower and I wrap myself up in it. Nobody needs a small towel that doesn't quite cover you. I am a larger lady and this thing goes around goes round my circumference absolutely no problem at all so essential number four and something i've learned with towel drying one's self is i find it much easier to pop the towel let's say over your damp appendage or limb or body part and just pop the towel on and then just rub over the top of it rather than rubbing with the towel because that can really really irritate the skin. Just pop it on and gently tap it, rub it and it honestly lifts the water from your skin so much better than just rubbing. So that's my top tip and it's also better for your skin and this is a skincare thing so that's my top tip for toweling off. Top tip for toweling off. We love a bit of alliteration in the morning. 
I'll take you through the individual products and gadgets I use in a moment, but for now it is time to wash my face and therefore it is time to deploy the bunny ears. Bunny ears have been deployed. Time to go and wash my face. Now I do have a caveat here. I wash my face every morning in the shower. I shower every morning um, and I'm not taking you into the shower with me because it's not that kind of channel. But I am going to let you know that with my little shower puff I use Faith in Nature. This is an eco-friendly, vegan-friendly, 99% natural ingredients shower gel. I would normally go for more of a creamy kind of textured shower gel but it's really easy to use it's really light on my skin and hubby has said that when he goes into the bathroom after I've had a shower in there it smells absolutely delicious so there you go those two together you don't need to see that bit and once I've showered my body it's time for my face and I like to use this Lancome Gelaclat, which I discovered maybe a year ago and I'm absolutely in love with. This is a new bottle because my old one is nearly empty and I use it with this little thing. This is my new toy, my new device. This little device is by Duvol and it is their Radiance Spin Care System and they reached out to me a little while ago and said, uh, would you like to test one of these and let your subscribers know what you think of it and I thought about it for a little while because your girl doesn't accept every offer that comes into the email there's some crazy stuff but this looked really interesting and I thought I have had something fairly similar to this in the past I didn't have the dedication to use it correctly um, and also the one that I had before did not have anywhere near the flexibility of this one so I said okay then I will give it a go send one over and I will test it and I will tell my subscribers about it it's got to be easy to use otherwise I'm not going to use it and I also need at least a month to try it out to see if it works for me before sharing it with you guys they said that all sounds fantastic with us we'll pop one in the post to you. So here it is. It takes four double A batteries and they just pop in there. It is nice and secure. This doesn't pop off and it comes with four interchangeable heads. I've currently got the skin cleansing brush on there because this is the one that I use every single day but it does come with three other heads and I'll show you those now. Okay so these are the three other heads. This is a body brush, this is like a foot pumice and this is a exfoliating brush. So yeah I use the skin cleansing brush every single day. I do use it in the shower although nowhere on the website, nowhere on the packaging does it say that it is shower proof. However I am lucky in that our shower is uh, more of a wet room shower. There's no door on it, it's not an enclosed space, we just walk straight into it in the bathroom. So what I do is I keep this on the windowsill and when I'm ready to wash my face I take a little bit of product pop it on my fingers, I put it on my face and then I reach for this. I make sure my hands are dry, there's a towel radiator right underneath our windowsill, it's basically it's the perfect setup. Now I think some people might put the product on the brush but I actually prefer to smooth the product all over my face first and then work it in with the brush. So I work the product into my skin, then I pop the brush off, pop this on the side on the windowsill, give it a good little rinse off in the shower dry it off on one of the towels underneath the window, pop it on the side to air dry and that does work out really well for me. It keeps this basically dry and it gives me the ability to use it every day which is exactly what I wanted. Now the other heads I use the exfoliating one a few times because I normally exfoliate twice a week with this Clarins product which I find very very nice and um, so again the same thing I'll pop this and smooth it over my face and then I'll use that brush to work it in then rinse it all off. Now I always exfoliate after cleansing because I was doing it the other way around and my beauty therapist said what are you doing that doesn't make any sense so you learn something new every day. This is the body cleansing brush. Now I have used this a few times but I don't see this as being as usable for me in the shower because again don't believe this to be a shower proof unit, a, a completely water resistant unit and um, I see this more as you know if you can have a nice bath 
or something like that. You pop a leg out of the bath and then you, you pop it on and you give your leg a nice little massage. Now I have used this a few times. I've popped the head on, switched the shower off, I'm soaked up and I particularly liked it on my bum and my tum. I found it very nice. It was nice, it was, and my skin felt really lovely afterwards. And the last one is probably my second favourite head after the daily cleansing um, brush. And it is this little pumice for your little tootsies. Now, I don't go and have my pedicures done. I feel like I should probably become a regular pedicure girl. Uh, but at the moment I do, every couple of weeks, I'll do a nice little foot spa at home bucket of hot water and some soapy liquid and I have been using this this isn't very old I've had this for donkey's years basically one of those sort of scrubber jobbies I don't actually know what they're called I will find out and put it up on the screen but since I've had this I have used the pumice rather than this in terms of how long the batteries have lasted I use this every day four batteries in there, I've been using it every day for just over a month and I've not had any issues, it's not slowed down or anything like that. So this is a product that I absolutely recommend for the daily stuff. I have been really impressed with how my skin has felt immediately after working in my cleanser and how smooth my skin has felt afterwards for putting on my moisturiser and serum. My main skin problems are that I am touch sensitive, so in the cutaway you'll see when I started using this on my skin, I went red, it's not this, it's me, I'm touch sensitive. When I put my creams on in a minute, you will see that I go red doing that as well. So that is all me, that is not this product doing that. So I have redness and I've got large pores. Now I wasn't expecting this to do anything for my large pores, I think that would need stronger intervention but it has helped in really working in the cleanser and making my large pores a lot cleaner and it has reduced a lot of the kind of the blackheads that I would get especially around my nose especially where my glasses sit so this has been an absolute winner for me and I am going to continue using it. And if you are interested in trying it, I have a link in the description box down below. Do believe this is normally 95 bucks. I have got a discount code for you because I wanna look after you fan dabbies. Um, my discount code will take the price of this down from 95 dollars to 28 dollars 50 which is about 21 pounds sterling. So if you want to give this a go, <laughs> I say for 28 bucks, 20 quid, give it a go. Um, it has surprised me and I have found it easy and that is why I'm still using it after a month. Now I've got clean skin, I need to moisturise it. And I do need to moisturise it because it's feeling a bit dry because it's been a while since I actually washed my face. The first thing is always my eyes. I always do eyes first and I use this Lancome Hydra Zen U. I have recommended this before and I have shared it in favourites before, I believe. I do absolutely love this product, it's very light but it does still seem to uh, do the trick in terms of keeping my eyes looking fresh and light. So I just dab a little bit. Same as with the um, toweling, dab cream onto your skin, don't, don't rub it aggressively. So it's dabbed in and now I'm just going to smooth it off and I do like the top of the brow bone as well. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but that's what I do. Oh, that feels lovely, nice and smooth. So that's my eyes sorted. What's next? What's next is <gasps> this. When I got a tester of this, this turned into some sort of miracle product for me. I had been using Clarins double serum but this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair and oh my god just the difference it made to my skin like within a couple of days fantastic so it comes with a little pipette so a couple of little drops Ooh, that was a little bit splatty sounding a couple of little drops on there get it on my fingers and then just press now again, my beauty therapist told me off for using too much 
of the double serum when I told her how many pumps and squirts I was doing um, she said there's only so much that your skin can absorb from the serum so just press that in that's my serum done and now it's time for my moisturizer and this is the Lancome Hydra Zen this is the cream gel I prefer the cream gel because it is a lighter consistency heavy creams just make my skin feel really claggy and horrible and greasy so this has been the perfect product for me I do like the normal cream as well uh, and I'll probably go back to that when it gets a little bit colder, a little bit more wintry, but for the time being I'm sticking with the gel. So I just get some on my finger and do just like a little <gasps> Prince Charming, Prince Charming. Do you feel a little bit like Adamant doing this? Uh, pop a little bit on like that. Now I've got the cream on me, exactly the same thing. I'm gonna move it around my skin by dabbing it. I can't believe I'm doing this with, all without a mirror! And I'm not even looking in the um, viewfinder that often. Right, so all of my skin is now nicely covered and now same as with the eyes, just do a little bit of smoothing off just to make sure there's no areas that were missed. And that is me, moisturised, ready for the day. That's my morning skincare routine, and I do have one other tip for you for um, your skincare throughout the day. And that's stay hydrated, kids. Water. I used to think it was bumpf and gumpf and bumpf and not real. Not real at all, but water really is the elixir of life. Can you see my skin's a little bit red because it's reacting to the fact that I've been touching it by putting my moisturiser on. If I feel like I am getting a little bit of a breakout of spots, I have been using this clear out tester from Clarins and it is literally just run out. And what I should have done was buy a bottle to show how it comes full size in this video, but I haven't. I don't need to use this that frequently. Generally when I get a spot or something like that, if I have a breakout, it'll come up down here or I'll get a big one on my nose and it is almost like all of the potential spots on my face hone in on that one space and I end up looking like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Thankfully I don't get them too often but when I do I use this little clear out and I am going to buy myself a full size product of this because I really like it. So that's my morning routine and what do I do in the evening? Well if I have been filming and I've been wearing makeup the first thing I do is take off my eye makeup with this Lancome by Facile. Uh, you can see I'm nearly empty of this product. Uh, I'm not actually going to repurchase this one immediately but that's because I've got an Estee Lauder full size uh, eye makeup remover that was a um, came as part of a gift set and I've also got a Clarins one which I received as a as a present from my sister-in-law. So I've probably got enough eye makeup remover to see me through till next Christmas <laughs> at the moment but this has been my favourite one that I have tried. So once I've taken my eye makeup off I wash my face with this Espar Optimal Skin Pro Cleanser and I use this rather than the Lancome in the evening because this feels a little bit softer on my skin. I had testers of it and I absolutely loved it. I keep the tester of it by the sink so in the evening it was really easy for me to use and I was convinced enough that I needed a full-size bottle for my evening ablutions and following that I like to uh, just wipe my face down with this Lancome micellar water. I got this as part of a free gift when I bought a couple of products at Lancome. Uh, it's not something I would ever have used before, um, but I quite like it and I will probably continue using it. Evening face wash complete and I use only one of the same products that I use in the morning moisturizing routine. The first product that I use, actually I've got as a tester, but I have been blown away by it and I am going to buy it in full size as soon as this has run out. And it is this Estee Lauder. And this is basically, this is the eye cream equivalent of the Advanced Night Repair. And oh my gosh, 
this is scrummy. Oh, it smells nice. It is this kind of very jelly gel gel type thing. Same as with the Lancome Eye, just a tiny little dab all the way around. Smooth it off, bish bash bosh. Lovely scrummy eyes. Follow that with more of the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. And the finishing touch is this Espar Overnight Hydration Therapy. Again, something I received as a tester, loved, and had to buy a full size pot of. Again, oh gosh, it's so lavendery, it's so soothing. Again, it's this kind of thick gel cream. And what you're supposed to do is, I will just try a little bit on for you. So according to my Espar therapist, warm some up between your fingers take a few deep breaths and then same as the other stuff pat it in and then smooth it off wow it's a bit early to be using this one it does feel a little bit kind of tacky to start off with but it sinks in and honestly in the morning your skin just feels Super plump and hydrated, it really is. It, it does what it says on the tin. It is a hydration therapy kind of cream. Amazing, absolutely love it, recommend. You may have noticed that I didn't mention any kind of deodorant or antiperspirant and that is because I use this product, this is called Nude, and I only need to use this once every two or three days, depending on the weather, my activity levels and what have you. And it is like a little sort of barrier cream, a little bit like um, Bepanthen for baby's bottoms. Um, you, you put a tiny little dab on and then you rub it into each armpit and it doesn't stop you from sweating because a body's ability to sweat is very important for self temperature regulation and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but what it does do is it neutralizes the um, the BO. Again, this is another product that is vegan friendly, eco friendly. This is a bioplastic recyclable tube. Been using this now for, I wanna say about three and a half years. Um, will never, ever, ever go back to spray or stick or anything like that deodorants ever again. So that is my daily skincare routine. Like I said, it looked complicated because there are lots of products, but actually it's a very simple routine. I do hope you have found it interesting. I hope maybe that you've discovered maybe a couple of products that you might want to give a go. Don't forget to go and check out the Radiant Spin Care System by Duvel down at the links below. And don't forget my extreme money off coupon as well. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what your favourite skincare products are, the things you have used and found to actually work and be really beneficial. I am always down for a recommendation. And until I see you, yes you, boop, for the next video, please stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, stay hydrated, stay fan dabby dozy and bye bye